Welcome. Welcome to mystical vinyasa flow. So we weave info from the cosmos, info from the earth into our practice. So my name is Kali Rose and I will be navigating you through today's practice, which is humble warrior. So getting comfortable on your sit bones. If need be, you can tuck a blanket, a rolled up blanket under the edge of your sit bones, supporting the pelvic bowl, helping the knees to drop down a little bit. So let's soften or close our eyes and take that external focus and bring it within. So connect with your breath. And let's root down before we rise up. Allow the, the energy of the earth to move into a root chakra, grounding us. And then rising up inside of you, kundalini fire, into the cerebral spinal fluid. Filling up and out of the top of the head like a fountain into the cosmos. Today's mudra, Usha's mudra, it's a clasp of the hands. If you're female, your left thumb should be dominant, male right thumb dominant. Anywhere in your lap. And your eyes are soft and closed. So mudras are hand gestures. They channel energy into different areas of your body. Ushas mudra is the root chakra and the sacral chakra beneath your navel. So it's grounding. It helps us relax and have better flow. It strengthens our immune. It releases oxytocin and many other good feel-good hormones. It prevents. It prevents rogue cells from replicating. One more breath with this mudra and we will be returning to it quite often. So release. Let's hang on to our legs, our knees, chins in the hollow of our throats. And all of our thoughts pouring out of our heads into the earth. Take that heavy head and rock it gently side to side. So we'll brush away the stress of our day. Or if it's early in the morning, dreams of your night. Let's try a complete circle all the way around. Twice around. And then return it. So clear an hour and work in the neck. And any anger issues. When you make it all the way up to the top, let's make small circles with our shoulders. So clearing. So this is supigrin. This is called somatics in English. It's joint freeing and it clears negative energy, negative emotions. Inhale, shrug her up, press your legs down. And then exhale, raise your arms and raise your energy. Let's clear our aura, circles with your hands. Let it flow from your elbows. Accepting new experiences connected to the elbows. Return it. So what's going on on our planet until July 20th, 19th or 20th from the wrists? Minor details in life. Mercury is retrograde. So are a bunch of other planets. Well, when Mercury goes retrograde, it snafus with communications. Anything we communicate with, anything we commute with, our cars, our cell phones, our computers, rib cage up, rib cage roll, Conversation, everything goes amok with communications. 
It's reverse set. So be careful what you say. Think twice before you open your mouth. Check that message, that email, that text before you send it. If you've got anything underneath you, remove it. Let's roll around on those sit bones. People from our past can reappear, reminding us of any lessons that we have or haven't learned in our past. Return it. Retrogrades. Mercury retrograde, a good time to rest, to reset, to reveal, to renew, to rock it back and forth, to reflect, to reevaluate, to refresh, to reassess, to realign, to review, to redo, to relearn, to rethink, to rewrite. To rediscover, anchor those sit bones, arching around your back, and to reboot. Good time to go within. One more. Let's soften up and find a safe twist. Let's go to the left. Inhale, push tall. Exhale, twist and turn. And then change sides. Inhale, push up. Exhale, twist and turn. One more time. So right hand behind, excuse me, left hand behind. Right hand pushes that right knee down. We're going to twist to the left. Really lengthen that spine. And then let go. Left hand pushes the left knee down. Right hand pushes your spine taller. Inhale. Exhale, twist to the right. And then two hands behind, palms or knuckles, inhale, your heart's up. And maybe your head back. Exhale, heads up, knees down. Navels into your spines. And it's soft enough. See if you can lift up those sit bones this pass. Maybe tilt that head back. And then exhale, slowly lower. And y'all touch down, we're kicking up that left foot. And continuing the somatic circles with your heel. Knee, pride and ego. Return it. And then take this leg and pull it straighter. Climb up, push the foot up. Lift up your heart and bring the leg in. Hamstring, self-control issues. Circles with your foot, let it flow from your ankle. Return it. Let's bend at the knee and cradle, rocking our baby. And we'll take this left foot and put it over the right leg or in front of it. Shift that weight forward. Are you breathing? When things get tough, your knees get breathing. And left hand, left ankle. Pull that left foot, that left knee behind you. Elbow down. Hearts are open. And it's bring this foot in the front. Take your fingers from your other hand, from your right hand and weave them in between your left toes. Go down as far as you possibly can. And it's a gentle wiggle, creating space in between our toes. Careful extraction. Let's tuck her in and kick up that right foot. Circles with his heel, knees, pride and ego. Return it. And then pull his legs straighter. Let's climb up, push the foot up, lift up the heart. 
and bring the leg in, hamstring, self-control issues. Circles with your foot, let it flow from your ankle, in flexibility and guilt. Let's reverse it. And then onto the hip, the fear of moving forward, let's clear it, rocking that baby. Oh no, I can't remember if we put our knee into our armpit. I don't think so, but if we did, you can do that without me. Otherwise, we're going to take this right foot and put it over that left knee, elbow down or in front of it, and shift that way forward. Can you feel it? Releasing any negative energy in your hips, your glutes, your buttocks. And then right hand, right ankle, foot. Let's bring this foot, this knee back behind us. Push your heart forward. Turn on your heart shine. And foot in the front. So left hand, weave those left fingers in between your right toes. Now as far as you can, and it's a gentle wiggle. A careful extraction. It's two warmed up feet. Let's put them together in the front. Pull them in close. Push your knees down towards the earth and lengthen that spine. And soften up and inhale. Knees up, shoulders up. Heads are sinking in the space between your shoulders. Exhale, knees and shoulders down. Heads up, hearts up, really lengthen. And let's push our feet forward. Let's back up these sit bones. And then hang on and inhale. Breathe into your belly. Exhale, let's fold forward without straining. Giving thanks to Gaia, Mother Earth, and all she gives us. Breathe in and out of your nose. And then let's back it up. So hands in, legs out to the side. Upavista Konasana. Upright, wide angle. Inhale, push down. Rib cages up off your waist. Exhale, walk, slide your hands, your arms forward. So we go to our limit and we pause with a heavy head. Picking and choosing our intention for today's class. Usha Smudra, if you like. So breathe in and breathe out your Sankalpa. Visualize it coming into fruition. And then let's back it up. Let's walk, slide them in and send your legs sideways. Let's all go to the same side. Let's go to your right. Let's bounce, shake things out. Let's do some hip walking. Power hip walking or soft hip walking. What do you need today? What are your requirements? Somewhere in the middle of your mat, we squeeze. Knee hug, knee hold, get taller. Really lengthen that spine. Let's round our backs. Let's rock and roll back and forth. Snap, crack, pups are all good. And then we'll rock it up and keep it up. Let's roll it over to all fours. So your hands fall underneath your shoulders. 
And your knees close together. Close together. Yep. Arch around your back. Start out easy. Really exaggerate. One more. And come to neutral and let's do a uh, towel wag, or excuse me, let's do a reluctant cat. Hips come towards me and your head looks away from me. Around that shoulder, maybe behind you. And back to neutral, shishumna. Hips away from me and head towards me. Look around that shoulder. Trying to catch sight of your feet, your legs. Reluctant cat always looking back at its past. Never move forward in life. Don't you be a reluctant cat. And somewhere in neutral, Shishumna. Let's do a knee to nose. So bring your knee to your nose and exhale. Kick it up and inhale. Two for ten of these. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, some core work, eight, nine, ten, bend that right leg at the knee, right hand, or left hand, right foot, pull the knee up, pull it up higher. And then let go, let's change sides. So kick that left leg back and inhale. Bring it in and exhale. Ten of these. One, two, three, four, a little bit higher. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, and then knee, shoulder, hip with a power. Oh, hold on. Keep it up. So right hand, left foot. Pull that knee up higher. Little higher. And now let go. Knee, shoulder, hip with a power. So breathing in and out of your nose. And then we're going up. Sorry, guys. Technical difficulties. So toes under, knees up. And let's find our down dog. Heads are heavy. Let's bend that right knee and breathe into that left leg. And then change sides. Alternate it. Pump those heels. Walk your dog. And then tippy toe, baby step, walk your feet in towards your hands. So we're going to bend our knees and rag down up. One, ver one vertebrae at a time. And when you make it all the way up to the top, more technical difficulties. Sorry, folks. Got to check out. Yeah, time is moving, so it didn't. I thought my camera stopped. So right now up. And when you make it all the way up to the top, turn towards me and place your two hands behind your back. Your elbows close. Let's bend our knees and rock our hips. Let's roll that prana upward. Go to your limit and pause. And then heads up. Bend your knees and ragdoll down. I'm going to get some water. So ragdoll down and then ragdoll back up and I will meet you there. Don't forget to hydrate. And when you make it all the way up to the top.
One more supported back bend, so hands behind. Bend those knees, rock those hips, and roll that prana upward. Elbows closer. Last one, folks. Heads up. Bend the knees, a huge gesture of surrender. Letting go. Ragdoll down. And when y'all get to your limit, ragdoll back up. Halfway up, we're going to do Kapalabhati breathing. A lot of people are bothered by uh, environmental pollens. Are your feet shoulder or hip width? So Kapalabhati breathing, it's inhale, exhale. A lot of sniffing. Use your diaphragmic muscle. It'll open up, it'll clear the sinuses. So let's start with a big inhale. Kapalabhati means skull cleansing. And let's do 30 or so sniffs. Halfway there. And then pause. Put a nice big arch in your back. Heads up, butts up, and an inhale. And then around your back. And let's do 30 more sniffs. Use your diaphragmic muscle. Fast sniffing. Halfway there. And then here we go again. Soft and round. Arch that back. Heads up, butts up. Big inhale. And then last 30 sniffs. Round your back, heavy heads, and 30 times or so. Halfway there. Brings a lot of oxygen into the brain cells. Good for memory, good for your sinuses. And then let go. We're going to come up slowly. Rise up inside your space. And then let's bring up the sun. And yes, those technical difficulties are coming back. I'm going to kill the music. Okay. Hands up above your head. Let's find Usha Smutra over our head. Flip it inside out and push your hands away. Bring your arms close to your ears. Ground your feet. Inhale, get taller. And then exhale, turn your mudra right side up, palms down. And let's cross up moon to your right with a heavy head. Breathing into that left side. Rise up inside your space. Inhale here. Exhale, cross up moon to your left, but breathe into that right side. And back to neutral shashuna. Let go. Let's draw down the moon. Spread your fingers, spread your toes, clear your aura. Take control back in your life. Keep your IQ up there. Relearn patience. When you make it all the way down, clasp. Usha smutra behind your back. Fix your shoulders, pick them up, pull them back, drop them down. Press your hands down, lift up your heart. Elbows closer. And release. Let's find Usha Smudra in the front. Feel a little closer. Let's bend our knees and sink in little chair pose. Backing up your sit bones. Let's twist it. Off to the right we go. In it, on it, outside this right leg. Lift up your chin, lift up your gaze and twist farther. Maybe pick up that left heel. Strengthen that knee, and then the left heel comes down. Let's rise up back into our mountain. Mudra, flip it inside out. Push it up above your head. Ground your feet. Hands up higher, arms squeeze them into your head, and inhale. Exhale, soften up all over. Flip your mudra right side up. Bring it down in front of your body. 
Bend your knees in fine little chair pose. Back up your sit bones. And we'll twist to the left. In it, on it, outside this left leg. Turn your head hard left and maybe lift up that right heel. So right heel down, let's rise up back into our mountain pose. Flip that mudra inside out, ground your feet. Hands up high, arms into your head. Slow inhale. Soften up, release your mudra. Widen up your feet. And a slow exhale. Clean up your aura. Take control back. Ground those feet. Clasping behind your back. Fix your shoulders up, back, drop them down. Hearts up, elbows close. Breathing in and out of your nose. Release. So let's find our elephant pose. Heels up and nice and easy, swaying side to side. Great way to get grounded during Mercury retrograde. Remember, being grounded is important. Slower, lower, and then bound, humble warrior. So we're going to work in warrior two for this. Inhale, your arms out to the side. Let's turn that right foot right. Bend that right knee over your right heel. Left leg straight, squeeze your sit bones close. So let's uh, hinge to the right and then tilt right hand down, left hand coming up. Gaze up towards that left thumb. And you can go lower if it feels good. If it hurts, we don't do it, ahimsa. And let's rise up inside our space. Reverse your warrior. Left hand down, right hand up. Gaze up towards that right thumb. And then two hands behind our back. Usha Smudra, fix your shoulders, pick them up, pull them back, drop them down. Hearts up in your chest, elbows closer. And then soften up so we can bow humbly inside your right leg. Heads are heavy, humble warrior. Teaching us about humility. Relearning it. And rise up. So release your mortar. Find it in front. Flip it inside out and push it away. Bend that front leg a little bit more. Hearts up in your chest. Breathing in and out of your nose. Let's see if I remember this series now. And then let's do it. Right hand under, left hand behind. Try to find Usha's Mudra underneath you. And then lift up your, your left shoulder, pick up your chin, and breathe in and out of your nose. And let go. Let's come to neutral or Shishumna. Woo! And it's fine elephant pose. Nice and easy, side to side. Lift up those heels. A little bit lower, a little bit slower. And then let's find warrior two on our left side, feminine side. Left foot, turn it to the left. Left knee over that left heel. Arms, breathe them out to your side. Hips are kitty corner, they're not to the left. They're not straight ahead. Let's hinge. Inhale to your left. Exhale, tilt. Left hand down, that right hand coming up. And you can stop at the knee. Or you can go all the way down. We're all different. And then inhale the neutral or shishumna. Reverse your warrior. So Right hand down, left hand up. Gaze up towards that left thumb. 
and then two hands behind us. Clasp your hands. Shoulders up, back, drop them down. Stuff your hands down and lift up your heart. It's all about finding humility and humbleness in your heart. And then soft enough so we can bow humbly inside this left side, lunar side, the feminine side. Keep going. Pausing. And then inhale your way back up. Release your mortar. Find it in the front. Flip it inside out. Push your hips farther forward. Push your hands farther forward and squeeze your heart chakra up inside your inside your, sh your shoulders, your arms. And then let's do it. Left hand under that left leg. Right hand goes behind you. Can you find Ushas Mudra underneath you? So bow humbly forward. Lift up your heart. Lift up your chin. Lift up your gaze. I'm working in Humble Warrior today. And then let's rise back up to neutral or Shishomna. Woo! So feel a little closer. And then let's go to elephant pose. Getting regrounded, realigning our energies. Nice and easy. A little lower. A little slower. A little slower. And then let's bend those knees. Let's slide down those knees and let your sit bones, your butts get heavy. Shoulders close to your ears. Breathe in and out of your nose and then push your legs straight. Inhale, bring it up the sun. Find Ushas Mudra, flip it inside out. Squeeze your arms into your ears. Breathing in and out of your nose. And then exhale, let go. We're gonna draw down the moon slowly. Soft knees. Huge gesture of surrender. Let's rag down, down, one vertebrae at a time with a heavy head. So fingertips, palms, or knuckles to the earth or a block or a book. Bend your knees radically. Point your root chakra or your tailbone down. Bring your crown chakra, top of your head down. Breathing in and out of our nose. And then straight legs. Lift up your chin, lift up your gaze. Eyeballs up there into your eyebrows. Let's pull our bottom lips over our top lips. So tone your neck and your throat. Speak your truth. Roll your eyeballs up there into your eyebrows. Stretch that optical nerve. And pour through any disillusion in your life. So let's release our lips. Soften our eyes. Let's widen up our feet. And we're going to take our crown chakra and bring it down. Legs are straighter. Our root chakra, push it up. Let's pause here and breathe in and out of our nose. Breathing into those hamstrings. Working on self-control issues. And then we rise up into table back. Feet a little closer so you're more stable. That's windmill. Rock your hips to the right without bending a knee. And then inhale, breathe that right hand up. Follow it up with your gaze. Go to your limit. And pause. Try stacking one hand over the other. So slowly lower that right hand. Keeping your gaze on your right thumb. 
keeps your neck in proper alignment. Hips to neutral. Let's rock our hips to the left and windmill that left hand up slowly. Follow it up with your gaze. Go to your limit and pause. And then slowly lower this left hand. Keep your eyes on your thumb. And when you all touch down, let's walk our feet in closer, hips to neutral. And let's travel over to your right side. Pivot your feet as you go. Let's put that left knee down in the back. Push your right leg through those arms, right into Hanamonasana, the monkey. So go to your limit and pause. Breathing in and out of your nose. Hanamonasana teaches us to laugh at our foibles, to find laughter and lightness in life. Change legs, change sides, so send that Left leg through your arms and back up that right knee. Is one side better than the other? It's usually typical for most human beings. Breathing. Waking up that inner child. And send that left leg back by the right leg. So you got knees. Hip width, shoulder width, your hands under your shoulders. Or actually, let's widen up our knees. Let's kick up our feet and cross in our ankles. Walk your hands out more if you need more of a challenge. Let's do some yogi push-ups. Bend your elbows and push them straight ten times. One. Two. It's a different version of plank pose. Three. Four, five, too challenging. Bring your hands in a little bit. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to lower our bodies. Feet up, bellies down. Reach back for those ankles. If you can connect, great. If you can't, so be it. Pull your knees up. Lift up your heart. Lift up your chin. And burn away any impurities. And then let go. Let's lower our knees. Keep them a little wider apart. Let's come back up into this modified plank. Ankle cross or connect those two big toes. Let's do it again. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and we're all the way down again, reaching back, looking for your ankles. If you've got them, everybody lift up your face. If you've got your ankles, pick up those knees. Maybe your thighs. Maybe your hearts. And then let go. We got one more round to do. Hands under. Rising up. Ankle cross. Last ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, to which you can and leave the rest. Three more. Two. Last one. Back up into wide legged child's pose. So sitting back on our feet, our arms are stretched or retracted. Third eye looks for the earth. Breathing in and out of our nose. And then onto our balance work. Let's 
come back up to all fours, our knees close together, our hands under our shoulders, let's thread the needle. So inhale that left hand, follow it up with your gaze. So go to your limit, and then exhale. Left hand comes underneath your body, reaches underneath you, lay left side of the head, left side of the body down, and then kick back that right leg. Breathing. So right hand lifts up, looking for that right foot, that ankle. Working on balance on all fours. Pull that right knee up a little bit higher. Or it might be your left knee. <laughs> and then let go. Let's go back to all fours. It depends where you're at. So yes, the knees are close together. Let's do it again. Let's inhale that right hand up. Follow it up with your gaze. Go to your limit. Exhale, thread the needle. Coming underneath. Laying that right shoulder down. Right side of the head. Working on neck issues, anger issues. And that left leg comes up. So it's opposites. Maybe that left hand. And maybe capture that left foot or ankle. Pulling that knee up and breathing in and out of our nose. And then let go when you've had enough fun. And let's come back to all fours. So your hands under your shoulders, your knees under your hips. And I'm having some technical difficulties today. And remember, Mercury is retrograde, so I've got to come back here with my glasses on and check my computer screen. Yep. So I'm going to fix that quickly, and then we're going to come right back together. Okay. Lots of problems. So I got the CB guy across the street breaking in, no yoga music. Got my computer acting up. Mercury is retrograde. So where were we? Somewhere on all four. So we're going to back up these legs and belly down. Let's stack one hand on top of the other. Rest your third eyes on your forehead and breathe in and out of your nose. Catching our breath. So on to Cobra. Cobra too much, go to Sphinx pose. Here we go, folks. Inhale, everybody, hearts up. Pubic bones down, arms, hug them into your sides. Chin into the hollow of your throat. Eyeballs into your eyebrows. And then soften up all over and let's melt down one vertebrae at a time and when you make it all the way down we'll restack hands one on top of the other let's bend at our knees feet shoulder hip width let's do some cross kicking weaving our feet in and out and then the shuffle kick or flutter kick one foot up and one foot down And then both feet down. Let's roll it over onto our backs. And when you all get there, it's transition time. So smooth the wrinkles out of your back. Soften or close your eyes. And take that focus inward and explore the inner landscape of your soul. And then we're going to do our abs next. We're going to do the flame. So you want to rock your thumbs, your hands under your butts. 
You want to kick your feet up. Let's put left ankle over the right ankle. And we squeeze our knees up, our hips up a little bit, and we relax and drop them down 10 times. It's the safest, most effective way to work your abs. Let's shoot for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four more, three, two. Last one, push them up and pause. So slide your hands out. Lower that right leg, climb up the left leg. Keep the left leg as straight as you can and bring it in a little closer. And yes, yeah, some people like to pick up their head to meet this leg. It's optional. And then we're gonna kick up that right leg. Cross it over your left leg. Thumbs your hands under your butt, so let's repeat it. Squeeze up and release down. Ten, nine, eight. Keep the small of the back flat. Six more. Five, four, three, two. Last one. Push them up and pause. Hit the pause button. So we'll slide our hands out. We'll lower that left leg and climb up and out of the right leg, masculine, solar. Gently ground your left heel. Right leg straighter, closer to your face. Breathing. Then kick up that left leg, your thumbs, your hands, back under your butts. Legs are uncrossed. Let's moonwalk so it's right foot and then left foot, right foot, left foot, shooting for 10, two, two, three, working our obliques, three, four, four, five, five, how are you doing? Six, seven, seven, eight, eight, Nine, nine, last one, ten, ten. So hips up, slide your hands out and open up into wide angle, reclining wide angle. Your toes are down and your heels are up. So supported is your hands, your elbows propped up underneath. Unsupported means no assistance, no helpers. And if you want more of a challenge, your hands lightly inside your legs. Breathing. Holding. And then everybody, close up those legs slowly. And let's cross the left over the right. Let's bend in our knees and reach for opposite ankles, right into pretzel. So pull your legs out to the side. Woo, doggy. And yep, some people like to lift up their heads to meet their knees. So your arms, your legs look twisted like a pretzel. Doing the best we can with the bodies that we have. And then stretch those arms out to the side and let's find a twist. Keep your legs crossed at your knees or however they're best crossed. And let's twist to the right. So go to your limit. Drop a foot down or two feet down. So where can you put surrender? Check the heart chakra. Soften your chest, your back, your arms, your hands. Throat chakra, soften your jaw, the root of your tongue. Soften your third eye, smooth the thinking lines out of your forehead. And let's rise back up and twist these legs to the left side. Oh, getting deep into that sciatic nerve. And you can drop that right foot down. Let's put surrender back in the heart chakra. 
throat chakra, back into the third eye. And then let's come back to neutral or Shoshona. <clears throat> Arms by your sides, kick your feet up, change your leg cross, put the right knee over the left knee, bend at the knees and back to pretzel. So this is our hip opener. Reaching for opposite ankle or shin, not the feet. The feet can strain your ankles if you pull on them. And here we go, we're bringing our legs out to the side, not down. Down is just too easy. And we do our breath work in and out of our nose. And then let go, keep the legs crossed, stretch your arms out to the side. Top leg always shows us the way to go. So drop your left foot down and twist your legs to the left. Go to your limit. Find your breath and go to the heart chakra. Soften your back, your chest, your arms, your hands. Soften the throat chakra, your jaw, the root of your tongue third eye, smoother thinking lines out of your forehead, soften the back doors of your eyes, and then let's rise back up inside our space and let's uncross these legs, bend the knees, feet on the floor, arms by your sides and let's hip up into bridge pose. Squeeze those sit bones close. Usha Mudra, if your shoulders allow it. Elbows close. So ground your feet. Chest into your chin. Breathing in and out of your nose. And then let's unclasp. Slow those hips one vertebrae at a time. And when you all touch down, smooth those wrinkles out of your back. Knees into your cupped hands. And we've got some gentle pumping in and out, nice and easy. Small circles with your knees, maybe roll your head around simultaneously. And then return it. So we'll drop our feet down, we'll push our legs straight and stretch our hands, our arms above our head. Inhale, let's get taller. And maybe pump those heels and then exhale, bring your arms down by your sides. So somebody's here, circles with your feet. I'll be right back, circles with your hands. Bit of an interruption. Circles with your hands. And then reverse it. Unwind. Go the other way. I okay, I'll help you. And, and it's a good time to find a pillow, a blanket. Sorry about that. Mercury is just so retrograde. Whatever it takes to make you more comfortable in Savasana.
So some people like a bolster under the knees. So let's turn our palms up. Our eyes are soft to close. And let's reconnect with our breath and breathe in and out of our nose. So find your breath. Where am I breathing? How am I breathing? Modify it into slow diaphragmic breathing. Gradually lengthen your inhale and your exhale. Allow the innate response to come in. Your palms are soft or open. Allow your body to sink deep into the earth. Through the many layers of our planet, the inorganic matter, the organic matter, rocks, the minerals, the crystals. Our planet is 85% crystal. And this is why we find Gaia, Mother Earth, so healing to lay upon, to walk upon. So go to the center of our planet where the gravitational force ceases to exist. And notice the heaviness of your physical self is gone. Allow your energy to expand throughout the room. Those billions and billions of atoms in your body releasing. And we breathe in and out of our nose. Floating up and out of our bodies. Pouring through the building. Spilling into well center. Feel your energy, your atoms spread throughout Erie County. throughout the state of New York, above and below, within and without, all over the U.S. of A. Throughout North America, across our planet. Into our galaxy. We become one with the cosmos, with the earth, with every, every living being on our planet. A oneness ushers in peace. 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 Oh.
humbleness moves in peace bliss process the 24 minor chakras will awaken the major seven chakras let's rock our heads gently side to side which awakens our six senses let's roll our heads towards me and if it's a good side keep rolling pour yourself over there the five values, be mindful of your head, your neck, your shoulders. As we reconnect with Gaia, head sinks into the earth. All your recycled thoughts returning to you. Your four cardinal directions. Your three nadis, masculine, feminine, shashumna. Time to rise up inside our space. Your two electrical currents, mudki and budki. Upward energy and downward energy. Let's get balanced on our sit bones. And the one soul, who you really are, inside this physical body. We're not a physical body with a soul. We're a soul with a physical body. Let's pull our spines right out of our sit bones and open up like a flower in bloom, like the flowers in your gardens. Feel the magic. And then let's put the sides of our hands together and plant those seeds of gratitude. Turn them into star seeds of light Watch your hands illuminate through your mind's eye, your arms, your bodies, your mind, your soul. We'll close up our gratitude gardens and let's bring our gratitude right into our soul. It's one inch to the right of your heart chakra. Put your thumbs there. So when you all chant Om, you can feel your souls vibrate. Let's inhale. Om. Namaste, everyone. And so much love. Thank you all for joining me again and looking so forward to seeing you all face to face. <laughs>